and the Wolfman Kitchutu.com. So you've been doing jujitsu for a while. You know how to get the back. But like so do other people. They know how to defend it. They know how to defend their rear naked choke. Advanced back rear uh, positions. Advanced submissions. How to finish from the back that none of you know. So I'm gonna like show you five, six cool submissions. Uh, back control. So we're here in back control, Steve Rogers. And even Steve Rogers likes to learn his catch wrestling. Steve Rogers is old school like me. You're in backpack last control, by the way. You can take that thumb out and put that in this xiphoid process as you pull this in. Good place to pull his middle finger to the notch, just like always. Just like when I attack his uh, Kimura double wrist lock. You don't want that hanging out so he doesn't get a wrist lock to peel off. Okay? So we're in here and we're tight. Boom. I got those four fingers. I go to my clamp. And now I'm here for my one handed choke. I get a lot of better grapplers, black belts, and fighters with one hand chokes than I do with a naked choke. Uh, from here, I can go to uh, the booty twist, as some people call it, or I'm going to start calling it the chubby checker. So I go to the chubby checker that I made up, and you grab your arm, and now I inflate my back, and I go to the other side. And this blade goes into his artery and his trachea at an angle into that nasty uh, muscle, I don't know what it's called, but it certainly doesn't feel good when it's very, very weird. But I am cutting off that artery as well. Get this side. So we're here. And now I can under grab, which I didn't show in the other video I first had on this, or I can come out and over grab, grab this elbow, and I'm gonna twist and fill my lungs, keep my chest to his back. Here. Come to the back now, watch my back, just get maybe, maybe this thing on my back. Mm -hmm. just, I won't tap that, I'll just go through this. So here, I grab my elbow and I'm pulling this across, but instead of twisting, I move my upper back and I fill up my lungs to the other side. Okay, so here I'll do the choke. And here, I'm clamped on my heat sink and oils, let me see. Grabs this other arm when I come to the rear naked, you see that's fine. I just grab this. And if he starts to grab this arm, I just get my own arm, inflate my back, and there's the choke. Okay? So here's the chubby checker twist, but you have to you have to inflate your chest and get it close to his back. So originally my original video, I thought you had to come out here, and that is more strong. But in reality, that might give him some defense. So as he's He's now, as I'm putting one hand choke, he's defending this, getting his chin down and stuff. I might just get in here, and there's his finish, sorry. Okay, so there's the chubby checker, okay? Now let's go on to the Kung Fu Donkey Punch. Because there's lots of planets and zombies out there, so other people can make them funny names too. So, while I'm here, I take, come to this side, I take this hand out, quickly, and I make a fist in his back between his body and my body, and I run it up his spine to donkey punch position. And right there, guess what? I flare the elbow and the rear naked's already in. He never saw the rear naked. He never had anything in front of his shoulders to grab and defend. So instead of rear naked connection, fight the second hand, rear naked connection, fight the second hand, I put the second hand there, and it's ready to go from this to a knife hand. It's already behind his head. He's got no chance of defense there. So I'm here. He's thinking he's safe because it's only one-handed. Maybe he's tough and he's got his chin down. Maybe I can't finish that one hand. This comes out, donkey punch. I can choke there or I switch it to here. There's my rear naked. There's nothing for him to defend. Okay, so you want Kung Fu. Kung Fu position is good for like self-defense to know that I can put him into that choke and I switch it. I do roll it to here. do roll it to here. If he puts some pressure on me, we're in this position. Same thing, I just got to move my own body to get the, the fist between our bodies, roll it up, and then here. Okay? In self-defense situation, maybe uh, for bouncing, I backpacked, brought him to the ground because I'm bouncing. I switch off here, and I just choke him there. Okay? If you're doing security work. So there is the uh, Kung Fu slash donkey punch. It's already behind his head. He can't get it. So this is some, everyone should be doing this stuff. The whole jiu-jitsu community should blow up and, and then these couple. Uh, next, what was next? Verse hammer lock, go to your turtle. 
Oh, I like, I like. Next, next, just neck crank. Next, just neck crank. I came up with many years ago. Well, Boss Rudin did first, and then I taught it and just instinctually taught it in a different way. Shin Aoki, so my best friend Ryan Bo, he just got his black belt from Bagarin, was number one shooter fighter in Japan. Shinya Aoki saw it on Facebook, and then he did it at Dream 17. Commentators, as usual, don't know what they're talking about, call it a rear naked choke. It was my version of the exorcist neck crank. So we're here. I go to a cross face. You see that all the time. You'll see all man face bar, neck crank, neck crank. It doesn't do anything because he's a tough guy. He can go 90 degrees. But I take this out to a butterfly hook at the same time, and I kick him and spine twist him to the other side and like gravity break his neck, okay? Or you can rear naked choke it if you got longer arms like Shinya did here. Cross face kick this, here. So it's just about, I could really twist them all the way this way, right? As this is coming this way. So there's the exorcist neck crank. Okay, down turtle. Next, something crazy I came up with in my arm weave better than a Kimura videos. Guess what? Someone in Russia did it in an uh, MMA fight successfully. So I'm back turtle, but maybe cross wrist him, but I can't break him down. He's too strong, he's too big. Whatever. If I can't Superman pancake him out, I can come over this arm and get this and then pull on this elbow, pull on this, work that lat, work that AC joint. I can break it in a lot of different directions. I can tear his lat, I can work the AC joint, the shoulder, wherever he has tightness. I can work different angles. Okay, so we're here. Go ahead, stay, try and stay on your knees this time a little bit. Yeah, that's good enough. That's good. Okay, so we're here, and I weave this in, and I stretch him out. Okay, it's hard to find. I think it's in, I found it on YouTube. Uh, Gang Rush will run with that. So, since it's this direction, arm weave, reverse hammer lock, whatever you want to call it. Let's say I do got the guy flattened out. Bang! Superman. He's got good rear naked defense, though. The hands are boom. I just camel clutch the guy. And I don't have to do some training to everybody, but if he's purple or up, I give him a little camel clutch. I go slow, I use steady increasing pressure. I know I've never paralyzed anyone, you know, but I slowly pro wrestling works. And what did we learn before? We combine that exorcist neck crank with the chubby checker, grab our own elbow, and twist his head off. Because if I just twist him here, he can take it. I'm only I'm not turning him past 90 degrees. My arm, except ballistically, can't go past that far unless I grab it and assist it. Okay, so one more time. Bam, down, face bar of this, boom. It's already hurting, but that's not enough for finish. Grab your own elbow. Now I got that extra twist. That's needed. So hope you guys enjoyed it. There's a whole bunch of advanced submissions to finishing from the back. Why is jujitsu forever? Focus on getting in the back. Yes, rear naked choke's number one. Short choke maybe number two. But why don't you know all these too for when a guy knows some grappling, knows how to tuck his chin and his shoulders and his hands and peel defense. Add this to your game. Let me know how you're doing. Please subscribe. Makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside. Appreciate some catch wrestling and jujitsu put together and my catch jitsu style. Thank you very much, my friend. Thank you, Steve Rogers. Keep kicking butt, Avenger.